so I am back for my second update for my round four. I'm on BLCD 12 today. I'm like, where's my camera? <laughs> on 12 today. So um, that's good. Moving along. There was some setbacks in the beginning, but I didn't really beat myself up for them because um, it was so early in the beginning and I really thought that I could just move forward. So I'll tell you about that and then we'll just see where I go from there. I kind of have like a idea of what I want to talk about, but you never know. I always go off on my own tangent. So um, this is my first round doing injections. And I always, at the beginning, right before I start a round, I always get totally panicked as though like this is somehow not going to work or that things are going to go wrong or that I'll be hungry or whatever. Um, so I was totally having those feelings when I first started the round and I I watched a couple videos of people who either were starting injections for the first time or who just talked about how to do injections and that kind of thing and so I started and it was pretty easy. Um, but I started at 125 I use because I thought well at 150 something maybe I don't need to lose huge amounts of weight and maybe I could do more like the Dr. Simeon's protocol and do 125 but I was pretty much like vaguely to excessively hungry every day that I was on 125 I use. I think it was VLCD 7 or 8 when I switched over to um, 150 I use. So what happened was on Sunday, which was BLCD6, I, I just had this terribly, terribly hungry day. Um, and mind you, I'm pretty good at drinking water. <laughs> I do the protocol fairly pop, pretty militantly. Um, I just feel like it's the easiest way to know if things are working and why shouldn't things work, but because I'm starting on injections, I want to know exactly if it's working or not, so I've been pretty, pretty pop. Um, anyway, so on VLCD, whatever I said, six or seven, I was crazy, crazy hungry, and that was last Sunday, so about a week ago, and uh, the next day I was going to Disneyland with some family who was from out of town, and I really didn't know what I was going to do, and my original plan was to bring food with me for the whole day and I figured they would let me bring food into the park which they they do let you do um, but you know when you're so so hungry you just can't think about anything else and so that night was pretty tough and I ended up like going back and eating like cucumbers and celery like late at night just eating because I was starving um, and the next day I woke up and I only slept for two hours that night, unfortunately. And my body really retains water when I only sleep for a couple of hours. So usually I don't have good losses if I'm not sleeping well. Um, but I woke up to a 1.4 pound gain, even though I was just starving. <laughs> and here I am about to go to Disney, and it's like, you know, 6.30 in the morning, and I'm trying to, like, pack up my food and get everything ready, and I just was nuts. And I made three chocolate delights to bring on the road with me. And I packed up, I think I had already packed the food the night before um, lunch-wise, but I didn't pack dinner. I thought, oh, I'll just figure something out at the park for dinner, which was a terrible idea. I mean, hello, Disney, like processed, junky food, fried, whatever, you know, it's like Americana. <laughs> um, so as I'm driving... I'm just starving. And so I ate my chocolate delights over the drive and I had like a little ice pack next to me and it kept them, it kept them cold. And, um, and then I ate my apple by the time I got to the hotel. It was like almost nine when I got to the hotel. I just sat in traffic forever. <laughs> it was a rainy day in Los Angeles. And, um, and then I, I kind of, I just had to like, well, I ate, I think I ate my chicken at like nine, nine thirty in the morning. And I ate my cucumbers on the road. I just was so hungry. And um, I walked in the hotel room and I had my own card and everything. They were already all in the park. And there was a bag of some chips, kettle chips or something. 
and I just walked over to them and I ate four, five, six, something like that. I was very mentally aware of what I was doing. Like it wasn't like, I was aware. And I just said, ah, this is what I'm doing. And then I thought, you know, this may or may not screw up your day. You know, it could very well. Probably like 70 calories right there. And, um, and then I was like, and you're out of food and it's, you know, 9.30, 10 a.m. And uh, you're going to have to wait till dinner. And um, instead of tormenting yourself and torturing yourself, you're on VLCD 5 or 6, 7, something in there. Have a day off. Because um, I needed to figure out what was going on with the HCG and I hadn't tested it, etc., etc. So I, I took a day off. And I ate pretty good. Salad was like most, the lunch that I had was mostly P3. There was a snack that was not P3 and there was a dinner that was kind of P3. And um, I just ate till I felt satisfied and I just consi just consistently the whole day and I ate a lot. I felt hungry. So I was like, okay, fine. Um, the next day I drove back to Los Angeles. So I got, I got up early in the morning and I went to breakfast with everyone and they all had $45 breakfast buffet. And I didn't touch it. I had like five cups of coffee. <laughs> Um, then I needed to do a little shopping, so while I was shopping I had a cappuccino. I figured I'd kind of ease myself back into VLCDs over a single day period because it was so, it felt so good to eat that day after being hungry for a week. <laughs> and there was a, a moment where I just really didn't want to go back. But the thing is, is um, I really, really committed to moving forward. I'm ready. I took a really huge, long period of time off, and I, and I needed to move forward. But So I got home that day, took my injection, and I think I upped it to 150 I used that day. Um, and then the only thing I did that day that was off protocol besides the cappuccino was um, probably another one or two chocolate delights. And then um, ever since then, so that was a VLCD 8. I have not had chocolate delights. That was the last day I had them. So 9, 10, 11, and 12 have been chocolate delight free. Although I can't, I can tell you I definitely have been, you know, thinking about them. <laughs> so on that day back after that loady thing, I gained another pound, a pound point two. So from that eating day, I gained a pound point two. But I was like, screw it, move forward. You're okay. Um, so that was 155. Point eight that day, and then today on VLCD 12, I am down to 151.0, and I'm now six pounds above my LDW, and very excited to get back into the 140s and to move forward. Um, I decided to call this. I always write a little note on my rounds, and I, I call them something. Everyone, so this one's the heart healing round. Um, Christ, I'm going to make myself cry. <laughs> um, I wrote that for a bunch of reasons. <laughs> Partially because I'm going to get to a point this round, and I'll be in the one low 140s, one, um, or somewhere in the 130s. That's going to be really epically new territory for me. <laughs> and I got really, really scared before this round started about, sorry, um, ex being accepted by people, which I've never in this whole process had such intense feelings about that concept, like that um, I'm going to get to the 130s, I'm going to look really, really comparatively to what I've looked like to everyone who's known me in the last 10, 11, 12 years, I'm going to look skinny to them. And I, I just thought, oh my God, people are going to actually like, they're going to have an opinion, <laughs> which maybe they will, maybe they won't. And I got really scared. And then um, what's been going on this year and probably part of the reason I gained weight is that I really, really, really started to feel more and more progressively ready to have a relationship. Um, I lived in New York City for 
nine years and I did not have a relationship in that entire period of time. <laughs> I dated a little. I went through want really wanting something and at the same time really wanting people to not like me. Um, I was like, no one can like me at this weight. This is, I'm not acceptable. <laughs> And, um, and no, another note, another thing to note, I've been out here for two years in Los Angeles. I really, really made a commitment to myself that when I moved out here, and when I moved out here, I was still, um, you know, 200, 210, 195, kind of bouncing around in there. Um, that I was going to open myself up to love, relationships, men, etc. And that this is going to be the place that I'm going to make into a home. So really made that commitment to myself and that I would start to have really good relationships with guys and I had guy friends in New York but I wanted something else so I mean I definitely have had that a little bit I've d dated more than I have like in years um, I'm not good at it I'm not good at it at all I've made a lot of mistakes um, so that is why the, I think that's why this round is like really important for me to move forward and there's some fear about moving forward and I've really really come to terms with it and I feel good so having this whole hunger thing on top of it has been really overwhelming because um, every day I have to convince myself that I want to do this and I and I am ready and that I can um, get through the hunger and um, so I've been on 150 I used for four or five days and um, hey you guys so I I stopped that video short and could never like edit it back together properly so I just stopped it and I wanted to come on as a like an aside <laughs> I actually have a video followed up that I made afterwards that I'll probably post it's an emotional video but I feel like why not get to know me? I'll be honest. Um, a lot of my issues with food are completely and utterly to do with my self-worth and then my feelings about having relationships. So um, this is just part of the learning experience as I'm healing and as I'm also getting smaller. So I do also want to say, though, that I've been at 150 IUs for at least five, six days now. I'm on VLCD 14 today. That was VLCD 12 in the video you just saw. The last two, three days I've been really comfortable hunger-wise. Um, so I think things are well, going well and I I did check my HCG's potency with pregnancy tests and it came back pregnant twice. <laughs> I got confused and thought I messed it up and had to do it again. But um, yeah, so things seem to be fine. It just was very, very hard to commit to the round and not want to give up and completely panic with that amount of hunger. And if I hadn't had the knowledge of the past and also watched so many of your videos over the last year, I might have. Because it was, that was a daunting experience that happened in those first few days. And it, it wasn't like the first few days on 125 views. I use it was like a few days in and then and then also a few days on the 150 I use. So, you know, I, it worked itself out, but it was weird. So I'm going to end this. <laughs> You've made it this far. It's a miracle. You guys watching long videos. Um, and thanks for all your support. And there's another video after this that's slightly embarrassing, but I'm going to put it up. So all right, you guys, I will talk to you later, and I'll be on a little later in the week to do a real HCG update and not one of panic and whatever this one was. All right, bye, you guys.